Did you know that the classic cocktail, the Bloody Mary, was created at the St. Regis, New York's legendary King Cole Bar back in 1934? This is when famed barman Fernand Petio perfected the recipe for a vodka and tomato juice cocktail. Ever since, the Bloody Mary has become a ritual drink across all St. Regis properties around the world, with each destination giving its own local twist, including here at the St. Regis Bali Resort, where the Bali Mary includes muddled jicama and cucumber, giving it a nice tropical flavor. Bloody Mary is but one ritual offered at St. Regis properties around the world. These rituals are made to elevate the guest experience from check-in to check-out. Let's see how these rituals play out here at the St. Regis Bali Resort. The St. Regis Bali Resort is located in the pristine Nusa Dua area of South Bali. Thank you so much. I'll be staying at the luxurious one bedroom strand villa, private pool, garden, and private access to the white sands of Nusa Dua Beach. Wow. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a stunning villa. Right now, I am being spoiled by the St. Regis's signature butler service. This includes everything from wake up calls to unpacking luggage and also wake up beverages. This is a service that was introduced by the founder himself, John Jacob Astor IV back in the Gilded Age of New York. And basically that leaves me to explore the rest of the property. Another ritual here at the St. Regis Bali Resort is afternoon tea. This timeless tradition was started by Lady Caroline Astor, who was said to be the foremost authority of New York aristocracy. Served here at the elegant St. Regis Bar, you'll be given a lavish spread of homemade sweet and savory goodies, including river lobster pie and smoked salmon. And of course, a wonderful collection of teas and coffees. There are grand pools that meander through the whole tropical grounds. My favorite is probably the Salt Water Lagoon. Now you've heard of a floating breakfast. Have you heard of a floating bar? In the afternoons, this traditional jukun boat turns into a floating cocktail vessel, and I'm gonna get myself a delicious coconut for the afternoon. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, this looks fantastic. Thank you so much. Terima kasih banyak. Designed by renowned architect and interior designer Bill Bensley, the whole resort takes the Balinese philosophy of Nyingara Gunung, or the journey from the mountain to the sea. In the middle, the fire garden symbolizes a river, and that is that journey down to the Indian Ocean. Now, one of my favorite spots in the resort is this hidden gem called the Hammock Garden. Not really advertised, but here you can literally hang out under the swaying palms in this vast coconut grove. Now, after a lavish afternoon tea and a lagoon cocktail, I think it's time to take a cheeky siesta. Right, well it's on to the evening rituals now, which means I have to spruce up a bit and put on something a little nicer. Yikes. All right, luckily 
I've got Pat Tawadi, our butler here, who can give my clothes a good press. Mr. Reddy, your shirt has been pressed. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Allow me to come in. This is the most exciting ritual at the St. Regis Bali, in my opinion. Every sunset hour, they will open a bottle of champagne with a saber or a sword. Yes, this is the Sabrage, started by Lady Astor, who herself was inspired by Napoleon Bonaparte, who famously opened a bottle of champagne at the end of every battle. In Bali, this is done with a traditional karis dagger or sword. And of course, we're gonna let the resident sommelier show us how it's done. One glass of champagne, and then it's off to Kayu Puti restaurant. Cheers. Now, this isn't one of the rituals, but dinner at fine dining restaurant Kayu Puti is a must. Asian inspired hot cuisine in a stunning beachfront destination. The signature here at Kayu Puti restaurant is Nyingara Gunung taking the philosophy of the resort and making a dining experience with an element of the land and of the sea. It's now in its fourth iteration with a yellowfin tuna with rujak burung and wagyu picanha with wawangen spices, always introducing an element of Bali. Here we are at Boneka restaurant, the original address of the Sunday brunch experience here in Bali. And it's a seriously lavish experience as well with buffet, live stations, pass arounds and a la carte all on offer. The signatures here are their lobster omelette and the egg nouveau. Brunch, which is also available for outside guests, starts with an indulgent cocktail hour at the St. Regis Bar. Well, that's it. The many rituals of the St. Regis Bali Resort, meant to be a house of celebration for their guests. Thanks for watching me dine my way through this luxurious property. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna eat this meal alone. See ya.